Hi, and welcome back to Apron Academy. We had fun in the previous episode because we had chats with Victoria, Hanako, and Tanya. There's a bit of laughter and obviously showing our gentleman side, I think. And that's what I want to actually present in this uh, playthrough for the choices is to be more of a gentleman and try to be understanding of them and their jobs, the roles. Obviously, I'll be putting my own opinions across on their stuff and that. So, we have now ended up in my room and I adore it. It is like a perfect room. So, opening the door. However, Hanako, it's not Hanako, it's Hanaka, is it? Revealed, caught, Courtney, is it? And Nikki unpacking the boxes and decorating the room with my stuff. My stuff came before me. Question mark. Huh? Oh, hello. Who? Oh, I didn't notice what she speak. Spoken, not speak. Who spoke then? Hello, master. Oh, we were just you moving go. your things in. We hope you don't mind. I think you are the upfront person, and you are kind of shy. Oh, not at all. I think. They were doing a pretty good job. They had set up my computer and consoles already, and were putting away my books and clothes. Less work for me. Nice. Hanukkah stepped into the room and joined the girls, and I looked around the room. Taking in the size of it, it was indeed a master bedroom, furnished with a large bed, desk, and TV. And it was mine now. What could have been better? It... Yeah, good question. It looks like a nice uh, view as well. As Nikki placed a couple of books on the shelf, she turned to me. So, Master, if I may ask, how do you know Seymour? Oh, did I know? Huh? Seymour? He's my uncle. Really? I thought he would be your father. You both look alike. Uncle, that would mean his father or mum's brother I do believe so yeah I'm trying to think uh, the resemblances do go down the generations don't they it's not always oh you look like your father or your mum all the time it's they come from yeah well not everyone looks like their parents Nikki thank you anyways how did you learn about this place? I remembered being kidnapped and drugged in a car before being remotely transported to a location I had no idea about. However, that wasn't the explanation I wanted to give. Oh, well, my uncle knew I needed a job, so he told me he had one for me. That's why I'm here, I guess. Did he tell you anything about the job? Not until after you all left the lobby. I apparently have to help you with your training sessions. I was still confused about what those involved. I figured it was best to ask the ones actually training, as my uncle wouldn't tell me. Nikki and Courtney nodded to me as Hanukkah continued to work. Courtney stopped her work to turn and face me, obviously joining the conversation. When we're not taking care of the house, we train every other day. 
Our sessions include self-defense, stealth and infiltration, rescue, and basic medical practice. Mm-hmm. I stared, not believing what I was hearing. They really went through all of those subjects. I guess it made sense as they were soldiers training to be bodyguards. But to imagine them doing all of that in fully made uniforms made my head spin. They were pretty fun to do, as we used a body pillow to represent our master. But now that you're here, we'll have a better experience with it. Okay. And I think her voice has changed a little bit. A, a tone there, Nikki. Well, I'll be safe, right? Hmm. Courtney and Nikki nodded again, which eased my nerves while my uncle expressed that I would be safe. It somehow felt better to hear that the people actually going through the training would ensure my safety. Why skip on? Oh, here we go. I barely noticed as Tanya and Victoria entered the room, hopping into the conversation fluidly. Well, somewhat safe, anyway. I don't think we can guarantee you'll come out each time unbruised. Okay. Tanya! I'm just saying, those paintball bullets hurt! Oh, yeah! Shooting and... yeah, yeah, okay then. Paintball bullets? Yeah, because if you get... if they get shot, they need something to dodge. You can't go pew pew dodge sound! Part of the training we do is making sure we can maneuver around obstacles such as gunmen. It would be stupid to use real guns, so we use paintball guns instead. Victoria rolled her shoulder with a... Grimps. Yeah, sorry, I didn't explain in the other uh, episodes. It's... If I don't use the word or see it often, I'll have difficulty pronouncing it. They are pretty painful if you get pummeled with a volley of shots. That means you weren't quick enough. And the nervousness I had about the ordeal came crawling back into my gut. Great, I guess it was just part of the price for relaxation and luxury. Tanya walked over and patted my shoulder with a smile. Don't worry, Master. We'll take care of you the best we can, alright? Mm-hmm. You can count on us, Master. Looking at all five girls as Hanukkah turned to nod in agreement with... How am I saying this, Courtney's and Tanya's statements? I could see the confidence in their eyes. They'd make sure that I was taken care of. I found myself becoming more curious about what these girls did. Why were they here and why train to be a maid as well as a soldier? Was it a matter of pride, of duty? I didn't know anyone who would accept this kind of training. Then again, I wasn't them. I didn't know that was going on in their heads. I was simply their master. Before I knew it, a large gong sound rang through the mansion. It wasn't deafening, but it definitely caught everyone's attention. Girls in response looked to the clock on the wall. 2 p.m. Okay, what's 2 p.m.? Break time was over for them. Not that many of them actually utilized their break. The only one that I didn't see working was Tanya. I guess you all have to get back to work officially? 
Mm-hmm. Yes, Master. We have to make sure the house is clean and in order. It's a large mansion, after all. Okay. At least we stay on top of it every other day, so dust doesn't collect too much. Every other day? Huh. I clean my house every day. <laughs> Wait! Who's gonna prepare dinner tonight? I can't remember who's scheduled for today. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah, and they have to add one more, don't they? Because of me. Well, the master. Nikki and Courtney raised their hands, but looked to each other in surprise. Were both of them scheduled to cook? Well, we can't have two dinners. Which one of you is going to do it? Why don't we let Master decide? Whoa. He'll be eating it as well, after all. Whoa, no. Obviously, I hope or pray they've got a board to uh, actually say their names and put their schedules in what they're actually doing. That's how they keep scheduling. They're not going to write stuff down or just purely remember it. It has to be written somewhere. Come on. Uh, the girls turned to me and suddenly I felt a little nervous. This was my first order, but which girl to choose? Master, for tonight, I'd like to make herb pork chops with a fresh raspberry sauce, paired with mashed potatoes and broccoli. Oh my god, my mouth is drooling now. I, however, would like to make crab-stuffed lobster tails with freshly baked dinner rolls tonight. If you would allow me to. Oh my god, she's definitely sounding like the uh, up front and probably flirty by this uh, time. Oh my god, they... But yeah, he's basically going to say how I freaking feel at this moment. Both options sounded really good and both girls seemed to really want to be chosen just from looking into their eyes i looked back and forth between both girls trying to decide please game just pick don't give me this i let my instinct guide my answer oh my god i'm hungry now i actually just wanted to stop the recording and eat now <laughs> I am a very, very big fan of pork. And I do like crab and lobster. But yeah, I don't... They, that's a treat. I don't have that all the time. Oh, oh God. I don't know if choices really make the game. But obviously they have different outcomes. But I don't know if these choices will have major outcomes. Oh, pork. Nikki smiled and bowed to me before rushing out of the room. Most likely to start prepping and making sure dinner would go smoothly. Courtney, on the other hand, pressed her lips together and crossed her arms. Scrolling a bit at the ground by my feet before joining Hanukkah in her work. <gasps> I've upset her. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't want to upset anyone. Oh, can't you just take it as you're free to do whatever now? Oh, God. Uh, the girls eventually all excused themselves, finished with unpacking my stuff and going off to check on the rest of the house. Now that I was alone, I took a deeper look at my room. It was much larger than my old room and something told me that I would spend a lot of my time in here. At least I had my... Uh... Sorry. At least I had my computer and books. Maybe in this new place, I'll figure out what I want to do. I... 
No, actually, for once, I can't actually figure out what, what's going to be the end. The more I thought about it, the more realistic the idea became. It was a new environment and a lot of things would happen here. I would get a fresh start on finding some sort of motivation while with the girls. This was good. This really was a good thing. I practically flopped onto my bed, taking everything in. The mattress was like a cloud, but my mind began to organize everything on its own. Each girl became part of my memory and I would open up more room to learn more about them and the place I was in. Where would I go with this? What would happen while I was here? I was about to get an experience of a lifetime all because I needed a job. I was one lucky man. For now though, I was allowed to relax. And I think he's relaxing now. We have a lead, sir. Wait. Uh, what the hell was that? That fripped me to death. No, seriously. That sounded... I'm not going to say where from, but I'm just going to say foreign because it didn't sound English. Because I'm English. Report. That, so there's two people. We found some suspicious activity from a man named Tyler Schmidt. According to his messaging record, his uncle offers him a job. What makes this Tyler Schmidt so special? This uncle is Corporal Seymour Stark, the one we think is behind Operation Apron. Oh my god, so you just took a kid saying his uncle left him job and you come up with this and now everyone's in danger. Tyler Schmidt, huh? Are you sure he's the one? Positive, sir. He was relocated this morning somewhere we can't track yet. What should we do? We need to find this Tyler Schmidt and capture him. Once we do, we'll bleed him dry of every little detail about this Operation Apron. The United States thinks they can hide a secret weapon, eh? Ha! <laughs> we'll see about that. What? Weapon? How is this a weapon? What the hell? Seriously, just me just saying I got a new job, they're going off on one. Well, they're spot on, but just someone saying that? Dude, he's just been a normal kid. I've got a new job. My uncle gave me it. Now he's just put everyone in danger. Wow. And there we go. I actually thought this uh, demo was uh, longer. But, uh, yeah, that's the end of the demo. I really did think there was actually uh, more to actually uh, go on. I really did. And it started getting interesting. I'm definitely, definitely going to look up uh, about this more. And as you notice, we have got more of the girls up here brightened up. Obviously, Tanya and... Uh, Courtney aren't up there so I think I have to choose differently and they'll pop up I think if I choose something about them they'll pop up like it was to make me uh, no to stop and making me a sandwich and it was to cook dinner and something to do with a towel. Uh, I think I uh, 
grabbed it. So if I didn't grab it, I think she'll be blank. So these ones will be probably sit down with her or choose her to do dinner. But yeah, this has absolutely been great. I, this is why I took my time with it because I thought it was going to be longer, but it ends up only a few episodes. So darn brilliant, brilliant demo. I'm definitely going to look into it and see what's happening. Because I, 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 would, I wouldn't mind having the full game. But for now, this is the end of Apron Academy and the end of the episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the series. And I have enjoyed it. And if any of you hears anything about this or the producer, I have actually put them in as hashtags in the descriptions of names and producers and everything else. So if you hear anything about them, you know about their games and you would like me to p play and show you them, please go ahead and put that into the comments down below. But please leave a like, a comment down below, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell for all notifications. So you know where every time I've uploaded to the channel, as usual, have a lovely, fantastic day, you lovely, beautiful, fantastic people.